Hello mga kameranda, pag-uusapan natin today ang about Bitcoin. Sa modernong panahon, napakaraming tao ang gusto na magkaroon ng digital asset na ito. Sa pag-usapan natin kung ano ba talaga ito and what are the things that we need to know as a cryptocurrency student. Alright, simulan natin. On October of 2008, mayroong isang dokumento na nilatala ng isang lalaki nagpapakilala na Satoshi Nakamoto. Itong dokumento na ito, also known as a white paper, suggested that there's a way of creating a system for a decentralized currency called Bitcoin. Itong system na ito ay nagkiklaim na it can create a digital money and can solve the problem of double spend issues na nangyayari sa mga bank related currencies etc that there's no need for a central authority in its core bitcoin is a transparent ledger without a central authority pero ano nga ba ang confusing phrase na bitcoin at ang central authority so ngayon i-compare natin ng bitcoin versus the bank basically ang isang bank ay nagmamanage ng sarili nitong ledger balances and transactions however ang isang ledger ng bank ay hindi transparent at ito ang naka-store sa mga main computer ng isang malaking banko or kahit isang maliit na banko and you cannot sneak peek into the bank's ledger and only the bank has the complete control over it. Samantala, ang Bitcoin naman ay isang transparent ledger at any point in time, you can sneak peek into the ledger itself and see all the transactions and balances that are taking place. The only thing that you cannot figure out is who owns the balances and who is behind the transactions dahil ang mga transaction na ito ay binubuo lamang ng mga letters and numbers. Kumbaga, Bitcoin is pseudo-anonymous. So let's further deep dive. In my screen today, pinapakita natin ang isang Bitcoin ledger. Merong particular address way back 2010 kung saan ang isang Bitcoin ay pinadala to buy two pizzas. By the way, hindi lang isang Bitcoin. 10,000 Bitcoin. Isang tao na ang pangalan niya ay Laszlo. Nagtanong siya sa online kung anyone can actually be purchased by 10,000 Bitcoin. In this case, two pizzas was purchased. It was actually right now total of millions of dollars of currency equivalent ng 10 million Bitcoin na pinambili niya. Grabe, no? So, in this particular case naman, with Bitcoin, every computer that participates in the system will also be keeping a ledger of its own transactions. Kung ikaw gusto mong sirain ang Bitcoin ecosystem, you need to take down all of the computers keeping the copy and keep constantly destroying each and every one of them. So, mukhang hindi ito talaga kayang tanggalin ng isang tao lang. Like most of the money today, Bitcoin is digital. There is no actual coins. There's actually just a row of transactions and balances. So, when you own Bitcoin, it means you own the right to access a specific Bitcoin address, transactions, and be able to send it. Pero bakit nga ba si Bitcoin ay isang napakalaking balita? For the first time kasi, we now have an alternative of the current system. Walang government or bank can control the particular digital currency. Before internet, pakita ninyo kung gaano ka-centralize ang information. Pakukuha mo lang ito sa mga encyclopedia, mga newspapers, etc. Ngayon, with the launch of the website, everyone can communicate and consume knowledge from around the world in a click of a button. Si Bitcoin ay nag-o-offer ng decentralized solution to money. May mga advantages ang Bitcoin. First, it gives you complete control over your money. Ikaw at ikaw lang ang makapag-access nito. How do you want to manage it will become dependent on your decision. Pero, ang pag-deposit ng uh, coin at pag nito, we're gonna be covering it on a different video. Pagandahan ng Bitcoin, walang government or bank can freeze your accounts. It also removes the middleman. Kung baga, wala kang babayarang isang tao tulad ng mga kumpanya ngayon na kailangan mong bayaran for transaction fees just to be able to transfer your money to another person. It's actually cheaper money because it's removing the middleman. Unlike mga other currencies, ang Bitcoin is designed to be digital. This means you can add the programming into it and make it as a smart money. Finally, Bitcoin is actually able to open digital commerce to almost around 2.5 billion people all around the world. Ito yung mga taong walang access to bank or under back or unbank. Today, you can actually use mobile phones and click the button to be able to trade Bitcoin, no permission needed. Today then, maraming mga merchants ang gumagamit ng Bitcoin. You can book a flight or hotel using a Bitcoin. However, the road towards acceptance is still a long one. We will break down Bitcoin mining, how to buy Bitcoin, and a lot more in our next video, Kameranda. Totoo nga that the revolution of Bitcoin started 2009. So ikaw, papahuli ka pa ba? Subscribe na to our videos, actually updated for everything about cryptocurrency, all in one channel. Maraming salamat kay Miranda. Subscribe, like, follow and share. Sige na please, kay Miranda.